this week on the Sportsman Experience. We're about 40 miles offshore of Charleston in a secret spot of gyms. He's joined by his brother and two buddies from Sportsman Boats, and they're in search of some fish to fill the boxes. Oh, yeah, I got him too. Got him Dude, double up, double it up. Nice gripper. Oh, oh yeah. Dude, he had to bend me. He's fighting like a... Come That's in. the question of the day. What the heck is it? It's got to be a group of... All right, I'm not Wait, he had you at first. Man, I couldn't do anything with that fish. Here. I thought I was in the You're prop. the grouper, man. We want to see some grouper. That's right. I got color. I think it's a red snapper. Big red snapper. Big one? Oh, big grouper. Really? Gag, gag grouper. Pet. Keeper. Keeper? Yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh, there he goes. <laughs> that was a stun. Oh, that was awesome. Whatever. Oh, Thanks for my him. Gosh. Fishing is a lifelong passion. The pursuit of new species and lifelong memories is why we are up before dawn and coming home salty in the evening. My name's Jim Isaac, lifelong fisherman, boat builder, and student of the water. Join us as we bring along family and friends to pursue new waters, learn new methods, and enjoy our time together outdoors. Welcome to the Sportsman Experience. Last time on the Sportsman Experience, Jim and the guys were headed offshore to a secret spot, but before hitting these deep reefs, they decided to make a quick stop at a nearshore wreck to see if some cobia were still hanging out. Oh, feisty little sucker. That's awesome. They're here. Gotta be a big one down there somewhere. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. You know they're all hanging out together. There he is. <laughs> oh, three. Three by Triple up. up. Triple up. All Triple right. up. <laughs> I got cobia everywhere. This one's burning down. Big shark out there. There's yeah. a big shark oh, out there. Three or four yeah, yeah. Right there. Yeah. That's why we might catch the big cobia. Oh, yeah, look at them. They're coming out from there. With no fish big enough for the box, they're going to continue heading out and give the deeper water a go in hopes of finding some big groupers, bee liners, snappers, and maybe even a very rare species that's known to hold on this spot. Get that 100 feet's a lot different than 60. Yeah. He's fighting the whole way up. He could be a snapper. I got color. I think it's a red snapper. Big red snapper. Big one? Oh, big grouper. Really? Gag, gag grouper. Pet. Keeper. Keeper? Yeah. You got him? Where's your little one? Yeah, there you go. Get that, Jeff. No, go for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just told Ricky, I saw somebody catch a gag off of it one time. Yeah, oh, right. yeah look, he, he, he rocked me up and got broke him. the rest of the rig off. That's what he did. Oh, oh yeah, I got him too, I got him more! Two, double up, double it up, yeah, triple. Uh, you got him. Let me get around here. There he is. Got nice. him. Nice, hooked up. Jeff, I got Watch one too, Watch him, y'all coming towards each other, Jim. Watch out. Go over, you're over, yeah. Hey, I think I got somebody. Right, oh, yeah, I got you, Richie, hold on. Right here, somebody get Richie off of me. Yeah, I'm going to throw that one on the ground. Here you go, right here. Oh, God. Oh, it's in a snap clip. Go, you're good, you're good. Oh, oh, oh. You're good. All right, you got him? Yeah. yeah. Coming back under. All right. All right, Jim. Nice gripper. Oh, yeah. Dude, he had to bend, man. He's fighting like a freight train. I still don't see how people catch those monsters. No, I'm going to pop the line. We got a really oh, good Benita. <laughs> we need him for bait. We need what it. Is it Benita? Yeah. Hell yeah, that means we can jig some. Are you ready to All right, guys, right. we officially have meat in the boat. So, right behind you, my hatch is open, so yeah, be careful. Oh, Benita. Oh, oh, oh. It might be a bobby. It looks like it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it looks like African. Oh, that'd be great. Where is that gap? 
Here, I got it. Right here. Yeah, yeah. Right here. That's what it looks like. Yep. Yeah, that's a poppy. Good job, Jim. Is it an African? On the, on the dead bait, too. Oh, yes. Nice. Bring him over here, Jim. Look at that one. On a dead bait chicken rig. Yeah. Oh, he's oh, hardly hooked. No. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Starting off with two good ones. Nice. How about that? Look at that, oh, yeah. dude. Look at that. Y'all got him? Watch the gaff. That's Gaps what Michael out. said the other day. We got to come out when it's rough. Yeah. I know. I told you. Good job, Jim. Fish. Where was this? <laughs> Where was this? Oh, that's a stud. No, they caught one last time. Or well, Michael time did. Around. Michael caught one. We got What's one at this spot. No, yeah. Michael. Yeah. What, yeah. Yeah. what is that? Uh, a pompanel, a grouper, and, yeah. a, fish, and, right? a, and a bonita. Oh, and we got we popped off three that's times. A stud. Cutting these here. things up, you can't tell if it's dolphin meat or popping yeah. up. Oh, meat. yeah, certainly. So, up until last year, I never actually caught one of these fish. This spot seems to hold them. Last year I hooked one, handed it off to our producer Michael and he caught a beautiful fish. So now this is our African Pompano spot and we sure do love catching them because they're beautiful fish, hard fighting and they really do taste good. Hey guys, we're out here fishing on the Open 352 Sportsman today. And real quick, just wanted to go over some of the really awesome features that help us when we're offshore fishing. First and foremost, you gotta keep your bait in great shape. So our uh, port and starboard, 30 gallon pressurized aquarium live wells do an awesome job of keeping that bait uh, nice and safe throughout a long ride offshore. Uh, you don't have to worry about your bait getting beat up because these live wells are pressurized. Uh, one of the things that uh, we also have on this boat is a Sea Keeper 3 which is an amazing uh, piece of equipment here that keeps the boat nice and stable while we're offshore. We've also got port and starboard 234 quart fish boxes. And these are macerated, so you can load these boxes with fish and they will hold ice all day long. And that way we can get our fish back and uh, get them filleted up and they're nice and fresh and ready to, to go to the table. And uh, it's just a great layout for offshore fishing, for bottom fishing, for trolling, for whatever type of fishing that you're looking to do. So that kind of wraps up the Open 352. As you can see, this boat's got it all. It's a hardcore fishing boat when you're wanting to go offshore. So 352 does it all. Now we're gonna get back to the action. Things are really starting to heat up for Jim and the guys. Within minutes of getting on Jim's secret spot, they've already caught a nice grouper, a huge African pompano, and things are far yeah, from yeah, slowing yeah. down. Right, I'm just gonna free line now. Another groupie. So. Maybe. No, he's not as big. There he is. Jeff's on. Jeff's on? Yeah. All right, my brother's on. He has two on. This might be a little. You got it, Jeffrey? I don't know. He hit my little little jig again. Whoa. Oh, yeah. You got him on the jig yet? Yeah, another They're jig. It may be another like Benito. A, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Almaco. Almaco. Well, Almaco Jack. I got color. Let's see what he is. Oh, Almaco Jack. Yeah, he just caught one too. Richie's on. Small spot, big reward. Grouper. Did you get a grouper? Oh, nice grouper. This gag. Another one? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. This feels pretty good Bring too. Bring him right here, Rich. I'll get him. There you go. Dump you got him. <laughs> Muscle him. Yeah, hell yeah. Yay. It's a grouper day! Yes! We needed some good grouper, man. Yeah, we needed to redemption on this filming, too. Boom! Hurry up, I'm getting a hit. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh look at that, he's swimming with it. There he is, he's done it! Oh, right there, he is. <laughs> what was it? I said, hurry up, I'm getting a hit. Then bail uh, me over, it feels like a grouper. Oh, he's oh. strong. That is a pretty grouper right there. Uh -oh. Yeah, it is. Nice. Yeah, it feels like a jack. Yep, oh, now I'm a co. Little fish. Another grouper in the box. There he is. He's bumping it. He's bumping it. There he goes. Get him bottom. now. That's on. He's got me in the bottom. I'll get up at you. Right? Oh. I'm straight underneath the bow. You want to try to walk up there? Yes. Okay, I'm clear. 
Alright, what the heck is it? That's the question of the day. What the heck is it? It's gotta be a group of Alright, I'm gonna have to go first. Man, I couldn't do anything with that fish. I thought I was in the You're prop. the grouper, man. We wanna see some grouper. That's right. He's heavy, whatever he is. Too. Look at that. He's big. It looks there's color. I see color. Bar. If that's a grouper, he's a stud. It might be another poppy. Well that would it's, be awesome. It's flat. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> If it is, get it's the shining gas, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, so it can only be so stud. much. Yeah, it's an African, is it? Yeah, it's African. I just saw it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, oh no! Oh, there he goes. No. <laughs> that was a stud. Oh, that was awesome. Damn. Whatever. Oh, at least we're hugging them. Gosh. It's been a crazy start to the morning so far. The guys haven't had a single chance to rest. It's what we all hope for when we head out for a day fishing. With any luck, they'll keep this winning streak going. Yes, yeah, so we just pulled up out here deep. Um, we're putting a waxing on them right now. We, uh, we really hadn't had any time to let the line dry off. We're sitting there, every time they hit the water, we're getting the fish on. Nice big African on. Um, we've got two nice grouper in the boat. Um, catching a bunch of Almaco jacks. Um, we were, uh, yeah, there's fish are here. They're hungry. Whoa. There he is, there he is. Yeah, this is a good fish here. Let you do your thing. Don't let him wear you out now. Rich, you'll be telling stories about you. I uh, know. Uh, I got color. Um, Could be a snapper or a jack. It looks like, like a snapper. snapper. First snapper, oh, yeah. red snapper. snapper. Nice yeah, red snapper. That's a good one too, buddy. Nice red yeah. snapper. Hey. Oh, that's a big one. Nice work. All right. Nice. There we go. Look at that. That's a pretty one there. Yeah, that's a hammer. My favorite fish. So we just put our first red snapper on the boat today. These fish are always welcome, but unfortunately we just missed the snapper season by a few weeks, so we've got to put this guy back in the water. Our season here on the East Coast is extremely short. We only get a few days every year, and it always seems to be rough, but the populations are huge. This spot holds a ton of fish, ton of big ones, little ones, so we're always happy to catch them, but unfortunately they've got to go back. You got him? Yep. Look at you go. Get that muscle. Get that muscle. I may have to get the gaff on this one. Got me a grouper. Come on, get him up. There he is. Red snapper. Red? Looks like it. Oh yeah, pretty red. Look at that. Can you catch the last one too? Cool oh, Richie Red. That. That's a hammer. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Oh man, I was hoping this was a big old grouper. But unfortunately, we got to turn this one back in. We go back down there and make some more babies. Yeah. So you want to try to run into that inshore spot? Yeah, let's do that. Change it up. I mean, obviously we're catching a ton of fish here, but we got some good fish. That's what I really like. And then we'll just try something different. Maybe catch a big king or something like that. Oh yeah. It'd be awesome. I got to re-rig anyway. I got yeah, stuff everywhere. Way. The boys are headed in with one last stop on the way. They're still looking to catch some good sized beeliners and Jim has the perfect spot right on the way in. All right guys, looks like we got some, uh, we had some marks at like 60 feet and then some all the way on the bottom at 70 feet. Decent little live bottom here though. Something, we'll see what it is. A little greener water and shore in here. Yeah. I put a piece of menhaden on thinking it might stay a little better than the squid. Oh yeah. Nice, doubled up. Double B liner. Oh, look at that. Little two fur. That's how you catch up quick. Yeah, there he is. Oh yeah, nice one. Yes, yeah, so we just came back in shore. It's pretty rough out here right now. And yeah, we're covered up. A bunch of B liners right here on the bottom of the main snapper. So we're uh yeah, we're just picking away at them. There's some big sharks and kudas here, so we're gonna try to keep the fish away from them and uh, get some in the box. Yes, yeah, one of the good things that we've got on this boat um, that's helping us out a ton today is this Yamaha Hellmaster system. Um, you know, we can use our fish point function, which right now we're just, it's holding us just stern into the current. So, I mean, without that, I mean, it's blowing 15 miles an hour out here today. We'd never be able to hold on bottom. Um, a couple times a day, we've had to use the stay point, which kind of revs the engines a little more, gives you a little more juice to hold you to that perfect spot um, but yeah this thing's really really coming handy today so Jim and the guys have had a great day and they are about ready to head in 
They've worn themselves out between all the cobia earlier in the morning and the big groupers, pompano, and reds this afternoon. But before they go home, Jeff wants to test out something Richie just dropped on the floor. Oh, I got a bite on a grape. I bet it came off. Oh, I got a fish on a grape. <laughs> Look at that. Did you get one on the grape? I got one on a grape. <laughs> what in the grape. world? Hungry today, the vegetarian. Look at fish. that. Yeah. Yeah. I was looking to see if it was in yeah, his it was mouth. Catch him on a grape. That's crazy. All right, what do y'all think? Y'all ready to go? Good, buddy. Let's go good day. Good, good day. Awesome yeah. day. Hit the road and uh, hope we make time, get back early, clean the fish, and uh, yeah, make a quick day of it. Let Jeff clean the boat. Let Jeff clean the boat. I'll clean the fish. The boxes are full, and the guys are ready to take it to the house. But before they do that, they have one last stop. They're gonna swing in their favorite local marina, Toller's Cove, to get the boat fueled up for the next trip and grab a little ice to put on the fresh catch back at the dock. That one's gonna go on the other side. Yeah, that's the other side. And we're gonna need three bags of ice too. The 20 pound bags. Yeah, bigger bags. All right. Awesome. Thank you. I'm good to go? Yeah. All right, thanks y'all. Take it easy. All right, y'all, we just got back from offshore. Had a beautiful day out there today. We caught a bunch of fish. It was a little bit sporty, but the boat handled it well. Everybody had a great time. We're gonna get the boat cleaned up. I brought some ingredients to make some ceviche, so I'm gonna fillet up some of this fish, make some ceviche, sit around, have a drink, and reminisce about our day. So today we got a couple of pretty nice gags, and uh, you know, to, to cut a grouper, most everybody, you can see it, it just cut right behind the head, then you can fillet right down the uh, backbone here, work your way toward over the rib cage and then just, just slide it right out. But it's just a absolutely awesome filet to eat. All right, so we just have some vermilion snapper over here. Um, we're just gonna make a little ceviche with it. We're gonna cut a little bit of this up, put it in here, put some lime and lemon juice in there. That lime juice will essentially cook the fish in the acid like that. So it's, you could eat it right now, right off the table, but uh, it's good to let it sit for a little while and then it's ready to roll. Yeah, so everybody's nice and worn out from catching much fish today. Heck oh, yeah. What an awesome day. My arms are tired. Can't be this, sitting on the water, eating a little ceviche afterwards. Not too tired to do day. this, though. Yeah. I can't believe how many Kobe we got. Yeah, that was crazy. I told you the other day, I told you it was crazy how many there are. When they're here, they're here. They're just like a like We a literally had 20 yeah, thank Kobe. You. I was surprised we kept pulling them off that deep number. I was mm -hmm. like, man, I, I, didn't, I thought we'd catch one, he maybe. Yeah, I didn't know five, five, five there. Yeah. It's your personal best uh, African pompano, right? Yeah. That was awesome. Nice one. And I definitely lost my personal best two feet away two from me on the right after the the Biggest Pompano, one I've ever caught. Cobia. I mean, those red, big red snapper. Yeah, I mean, good. Oh, yeah. 14 pound, 12, 14 yeah. pound oh, red yeah. snapper. Solid fish. All day. And then endless supply of beeliners or vermilion snapper. Yeah. How many do you think we end up catching? Or keeping? 15? We, we 18? probably kept 15, but yeah. we caught a lot. Certainly. I think everybody's really pleased with the way today turned out. We, we definitely paid for it, you know, on the way out, just trying to push through those seas. But uh, yeah, it was it was well worth it. Yeah, Seakeeper helps out a lot. Yeah, it, it, sea it keeper saves her butt. Anybody who says a sea keeper isn't worth it has never been on a boat with a sea keeper. Yeah. That's right. It definitely yeah. makes a difference. Balance. While we were fishing, I mean, there were a lot of times while we were fishing that I forgot that it was even rough out. Oh, yeah. Yes. I mean, I'd like look around there. Oh, we were catching the fish. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you know, so sometimes you're like yeah. falling in the water. Yeah, you, you disengage it and, and all my eyes turn around at one time. Yeah. You know, like, what happened? What'd you, why'd you yeah. do that? You know? And then you're back level again. So. <laughs> all right, everybody. Well, I'm glad everybody got to come today. I'm glad we got to catch a lot of fish. I mean, obviously, we have, we hopefully have plenty more of these in our future. You know what I mean? So we can uh, keep on doing it, keep testing product, and just getting out there in the water, and enjoying each other's company um, on a, you know, beautiful boat. And look at us; we're sitting out here on the water on a weekday. You know, there's a lot of worse places we could be. All right, y'all, we're about to get out of here. We're gonna eat a little bit more of this. So we're gonna leave for the day. Um, thank y'all for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Next week on the Sportsman Experience. Oh, there's another one with a little tiny one. Oh, God, there they are right there, the whole school right there.
cool. Yeah, Ralph, you got a little one. Look at him right here coming up. Oh, this is a little smaller one. Yeah. Smaller one for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, jumping cobias. Oh, look at that right there. Look at him. Oh, the big school cobia. Big school cobia. Look at them all. Look at them all. Bring up, bring up line. Bring up, look at them. Look at them. Michael, get them. Oh, we got one right here. Awesome. Bring your, there's some big ones right here. Bring your bait over here. Oh, there we go. I don't know. Look at this shark. 